Hello everyone, it's Psychic Gigi. Welcome back. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my video. My information is listed below if you would like a private reading with me. Today we are going to be doing Pisces general love reading for August 1st to through the 15th, 2019. Again, it's Pisces love reading for sun, moon, and rising. Oops. Sun, moon, and rising. I've pretty much already shuffled my cards. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the reading. Let's just do a couple, of, just a little bit more shuffling. Um, again, this is a general reading, general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. So if you could take just bits and pieces, any type of information that you feel that this is going to help you through the next two weeks, or the first two weeks in August 2019, um, and it will resonate with you. Wonderful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, first card I have is the strength reverse. So when I get the strength reverse, you know, this indicates that, you know, try to, you might have some unresolved Pisces, some, um, unresolved, like, self-esteem issues, or, you might try to take control over a situation and it might not work out to your benefit. So don't react too quickly, too fast. Um, you know, think about your words, your communication before you move, um, before you like address any type of struggles or issues that are going around in your current relationship. The other thing is, is I want to say is, you know, you might be thinking or contemplating that you're not with the right person right now or there might be because we do have the ace of wands right coming up after it so there could be some setbacks and delays in the progress of your relationship for the next two weeks or it could be a little bit boring or you know um they might be a little bit unpredictable which is creating you to be again we have the seven of wands but you might be a little bit defensive and on guard with your partner or somebody new who comes in maybe you're not being um patient enough for them to for even if it's a new person who's coming in so guys work on patience communication clear step back from the situation a little bit before you move too quick too fast um let's go ahead and do some more to three more because i always do three more hmm okay so we have um the next one is a seven of pentacles reverse again there's two sevens here so please pay attention to that guys um with the seven pentacles reverse you guys are probably losing a little bit of patience you're you know your emotions i feel are going to be really really high and it's very um i want you guys to kind of be mindful of not reacting too quick too fast um take a little bit of break if you need to you know change things up if you if things are like too mundane to you feel like we also have the moon card um if you feel like things are a little bit don't don't react too quickly guys okay try to work on your inner strength right now and and holding back maybe any type of impulse that you might have right now um to bring back the creativity to let go of that being defensive and on guard um try to look at it from their point of view or maybe your partner needs to look at from look at the situation from maybe you need to look at it from their point of view maybe they you need to they need to look at it from your point of view as well so and also there's a need for patience for the next two weeks again we are still kind of moving out of the mercury retrograde so just be careful with our communication um the next one is we have the hermit reverse which is a major arcana um you you can be a little bit pulled back um you might be feeling a little shut up from your partner or a little rejected maybe they're not giving you what you what you need what you want you could be feeling a little bit lonely you have to uh or this could be you this could be you with kind of withdrawing from your emotions because you're too defensive too too on guard too impatient you're like you know what screw this i'm done with you um, but again, stop and think before you react. It's really, really, really important for you guys. Um, 
whether it's someone new coming in, don't give up on them too quickly. This could be that you want your ex, you're looking, you're waiting, you're waiting for your ex to come back. I feel like some of you might be waiting for an ex to come back. You're getting a little bit patient with them. You feel like there's been things that have been said you're holding on to and you're defensive and on guard. The next card that is coming up is, is the moon card. So it's pay attention to your intuition, your subconscious mind, your subconscious dreams. You know, you might be feeling like you're uncertain if you're, if this relationship is ever going to move into a more secure, balanced relationship. There could be some miscommunications, some arguments. You might be dealing with some old issues that are kind of surfacing right now, um, but don't jump to conclusion. Again, take a step back, stay calm, wait until you know the facts. Again, facts. I always tell this about people. So if you feel like your partner is not telling you the truth, or if your partner feels like they're not, um, if, you know, or it's the, it goes the other way around, step back. You need proof. You have to know your facts. You can't just assume somebody's cheating on you without the proof. You can't assume somebody's lying to you or jumping to any type of conclusions without having concrete evidence. That's what they would do in court, right? So know your facts before you make any um, sudden movements. If you're just kind of dating, um, you might need to let go of some of this um, energy and kind of like renew yourself. And there might, you guys, I feel like some of you are going to actually start listening to your intuition and, you know, get a little bit of, a uh, little bit more information about yourself and it's going to be revealed. So the universe is definitely pushing you forward. Again, this is a really good reading for you guys because this is about growth. Um, I feel like you guys are going to kind of grow a little bit. Um, and if you listen to this reading, it's very insightful. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands reverse. So the nine of wands reverse is like maybe you might be refusing to compromise with this person that's currently around you. You feel like there's just, it's a little bit stalemate energy, but again, you've, you have to pay attention to your intuition. You might need to compromise a little bit, guys, um, but there's also a need to learn from your past, so pay attention to that intuition, subconscious mind, subconscious dreams. Um, gather your facts, gather your information first. If you feel like, like, some of you might have a past relationship that really didn't work out and some of it could be that there was a lack of compromise in it or a lack of compassion on one or both of both of you in around the relationship. So you don't want to, you know, you want to learn that lesson from your past. Um, go ahead and, and get your strength back, grieve it, move on, let it go. Um, because the ultimate goal is, is to have somebody in our lives that we truly love and we're completely content, happy, and stable with. So um, this is also a reminder that not everyone is out there to hurt you if you do meet somebody new. So I, I feel like there's going to be some healing processes that are going to be going on, um, but definitely stay calm and relaxed. For my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, let's go ahead and get one Oracle Angel card. See what our spirit guides need us to know for August 1st for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising through August 1st. August 1st through August 15th, 2019. What is that special message we need to know? Awakening. Okay, awesome. Love it. <laughs> so some of you might be having an awakening, like literally. <laughs> Um, so this card is all about like a period of, of like a spiritual awakening, paying attention to that moon card. Um, again, this moon card is representing my Pisces because remember that moon card is a Pisces card. So, um, you may have noticed some unexpected changes that have already taken place in your life and all of this is part of preparing you to move closer to the divine so once you allow this process to occur you'll feel more love and you'll be able to accept and be open to more love in around your life Pisces 
Um, so have an open heart and open mind. And very important message is to pay attention to your consciousness. So, okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I just wanted to get a shout out there to all, everyone who has been supporting my channel. Um, I'm really, um, really blessed that um, so many people have subscribed so quickly. So keep on subscribing so you can see my upcoming videos. Okay, guys, love and light to you.